الله الرحمن الرحيم اعزائي طلبه وطالبات شهاده الثانويه العامه قسم رياضيات لغات السلام عليكم ورحمه الله وبركاته اليوم سنتطرق الى درس جديد في ماده الاستاتيكا طبعا احنا عارفين ان الاستاتيكا هي احدى فروع الماده التطبيقيه اتس تايتل فولو ذا سنتر اوف جرافيتي ماي دير ستودنت ذا بريفيوس ليسون وي نو ذا سنتر اوف جرافيتي هاو تو ديتيرمين ذا سنتر اوف جرافيتي باي يوزنج ذا رول x g m1 x1 plus m2 x2 plus m n x n over some measure of all mass. Also, we can determine the y g coordinates by using rule m1 y1 plus m2 y2 plus m n y n over some measure of all mass. The center of gravity is the point its coordinate x g y g. We know that the center of gravity is a fixed point. The line of the action between the center of gravity and the center of the Earth, the line lies between them. And we know that, my dear student, the center of gravity is very important to calculate it in a rigid body as triangle, square, or geometric shape. My dear student, today we are Follow the center of gravity of a rigid body. Center of gravity of some simple rigid bodies. My dear student. Number one. The center of gravity of uniform dynasty rod lies at its midpoint. Remember, if we have uniform dynasty rod, then we deduce that the center of gravity lies at its midpoint. Number two, the center of gravity of uniform dynasty, thin lamina, in shape of a parallelogram or one of its special cases. What is the special cases of a parallelogram? Square, rectangle, rhombus lies at its geometric center. What is what you mean geometrical center? Point of intersection of its diagonal. Number three. The center of gravity of uniform density lamina in triangular shape lies at point of concurrent of medians. We know that point of concurrence divided each median as ratio 2 to 1 from the vertex or 1 to 2 from the base. The point of concurrence is a point which divides the median internally and ratio 1 to 2 from the base. Number four, the center of gravity of uniform density lamina in circular shape is the center of the circle. We know that the center of the circle is a fixed point which equidistant from any point on the circle. Then we deduce that if we have a body, this body is uniform density or lamina in shape, circular shape. Then we deduce that the center of gravity is the center of the circle. Number five, the center of gravity of uniform dynasty lamina in shape hexagon lies at the center of the hexagon. We know that the center of hexagon intersection point of its diagonal. Now we are translated to important example. A uniform fine lamina of mass 
180 gram. In the shape equilateral, whose side length 6 centimeter. Wait, my dear student. Think before solve. We have lamina as shape equilateral triangle. Which side 6 centimeter? The lamina, its mass 180 gram. This is called given. Body of mass 20 gram is fixed at point D, where D belongs a C line segment and a D 2 centimeter. What is required? the center of gravity of the system. How to determine the center of gravity of system? Solution. Look at my dear student. We have mass of lamina as shape equilateral triangle 180 gram. We replace the mass by three equal masses, each of its 180 divided 3, 60 gram. My dear student, we replace the mass of lamina, which is 180 gram by three equal masses, each of at 60 gram. Fix each at one of the vertices of triangle, then the equivalent system will be four masses placed, not two masses. Why? Because we divided the mass of lamina as three equal masses at A, B, C, and D, such as the point A, the origin point. Look at the figure to determine A, B, C, and D. This is lamina as shaped equilateral triangle, A, B, C. The point D is a distance 2 cm from A. We know that the distance or the length of equilateral triangle is 6 cm. We replaced 180 gram, the mass of the lamina, into 3 mass equally at A, 60 gram, at B, 60 gram, at C, 60 gram. And don't forget, we have other mass, 20 gram at point D. Then we determine the coordinate of each point, point A, 0, 0. Point D, 2, 0. Point C, 6, 0. Point D is 2 and the line which offset angle A by using sine. Then form the table at A, at B, at C, at D. Mass at A, 60 gram. B, 20, C, to, uh, 60. Also, B, 60, C, 60, but D equals 20 grams. The X coordinates 0, 3, 6, 2. Y coordinates 0, 0, 3, 0, 0. By using the rule. What is the XG? 60 times 0 plus 60 times 3 plus 60 times 6 
plus 20 times 2 over 60 plus 60 plus 60 plus 20 or 200. This rule to determine the XG, M1, X1, plus M2, X2, plus M3, X3, plus M4, X4, over M1, plus M2, plus M3, plus M4. Then, my dear student, XG equals 2.9 centimeter to calculate YG by using the same rule. YG M1 Y1 plus M2 Y2 plus M3 Y3 plus M4 Y4 over summation of M1 plus M2 plus M3 plus M4. Then the YG value 6 times 0 plus 60 times 3 root 3 plus 6 times 0 plus 20 times 0 over summation of all mass 200 the answer is 9 root 3 over 10 centimeter this coordinate of yg remember my dear student this is the center of gravity of the system 9 root 3 over 10 centimeter it's called the center of gravity respect to the point A. My dear student, the center of gravity of this system as equilateral triangle, if we have mass of lamina as equilateral triangle, we can divide it into three masses equally, M1, M2, M3, at 3 vertices A, B, and C. After that, we determine the coordinates of each point. Then we form the table to calculate the center of gravity. Center of gravity has two coordinates, X, G, Y, G. X, G equals what? M1, X1 plus M2, X2 plus M3, X3, plus M4, X4, over summation of all masses. By the same method to determine YG. Then, after that, we determine the center of gravity of the system respect to the point. My dear student, look at another example. Now, my dear student, translate to important example. Uniform fine lamina of mass 180 gram in shaped equilateral triangle, side length 6 centimeter. A body of mass 20 gram fixed at point D, D equal 2 centimeter. How to determine center of gravity of the system? We know that, my dear student, we put AX, AY orthogonal direction A is origin point now we can determine the center of gravity by divided the mass of lamina into three equal masses and determine the each point after that form the table to calculate the center of gravity, xg and yg. We know xg equals 2.9 and yg equals 10 root 3 over 10, the center of gravity respect to point A. We can solve this example by other solution. Instead of distributing the mass of triangle at its vertices, determine the center of gravity of triangle G as a point constraints of medians. G, what is the 
centroid. The centroid means x1 plus x2 plus x3 over 3, y1 plus y2 plus y3 over 3. This is centroid or point of contrast. Point of contrast, point of intersection of its median. We have three vertices, A, B, and C. We calculate x1 plus x2 plus x3 over 3, y1 plus y2 plus y3 over 3 to determine the center or centroid 3 root 3. After that, look at, we have my dear student two mass, two masses, 180 at G, 50 at D. 50 at D, it's coordinate D to zero. At G, this is a centroid, which we have at. My dear student, by the form table, form masses and their coordinate, we have two points only, or two masses, represent at two points, at G, at D. G represent centroid. What do you mean centroid? The point in its intersection, intersection point of its median. Then the mass at G, 180. Mass at D equals 20 from given. X coordinate 3, 2. Y coordinate root 3, 0. By the simple rule, M1, X1, plus M2, X2, over M1, plus M2, to calculate the center of gravity, or XG and YG. XG, 180 times 3, plus 20 times 2, over 180 plus 20 equals 2.9 centimeter. Yg by the same rule, m1y1 plus m2y2 over m1 plus m2 answer is 9 root 3 over 10 centimeter, then the center of gravity by the same method. Another example, find lamina of uniform density in the form of triangle whose mass 80 grams. Two masses, 10, 4 grams are fixed at two vertices A and B. And mass 8 gram is fixed at midpoint of AC. Prove that the center of gravity of the center coincides with the midpoint of median AD. This example can put it by other method. Choose the correct answer and give midpoint of AD and give three other points. How to determine? The center of gravity is midpoint of median AD, or coincides the median midpoint of AD. Solution. First, replace of mass of triangular lamina, three equal mass, each one six gram. Placed at its vertices, and also replace the mass eight equal mass, eight divided two, each one equal four gram. Look at my dear student. At A, after we divided the two masses, then the mass, all masses at A, 10 plus 6 plus 4, 20 gram. At C, 4 plus 6, 10. We divided 
the mass of lamina of triangle ABC into three equal mass, each one equal six. And we divided the mass at E is eight into two equal mass, four and four. Therefore, my dear student, we did use that A and C, the mass at A becomes as shown, the two mass 10, 10 gram placed at B and C are replaced by one mass 20 gram placed at D, where D midpoint B C. Therefore, look at the second figure, it presents mass at A 20 gram, mass at B 10, mass at D 20, mass at C 10, mass at N is 40 gram. Form table to calculate the center of gravity. Look at another example. Mass of magnitude 5, 4, 6, 3, 2, 7, 3 gram placed at consecutive vertices of regular hexagon. We know that, my dear student, regular hexagon has three sides, has six sides, equal in length, has six angles, each one equal to what? 120 degrees. And we know the center of gravity of regular hexagon intersection point of diagonals. Remember, my dear student, we have six mass. We bought at, at six vertices of regular hexagon. This proof the center of gravity of the system lies on geometrical center of the hexagon. Look at solution. We let hexagon A, B, C, D, E, F and choose the two orthogonal direction G, X, G, Y, where G is the center of the hexagon. And we let the side lens of hexagon is L. The mass are fixed at vertices A, B, C, D, E, and F, respectively. A is its coordinate L over 2, 3 root L over 2, B L 0, C L over 2, negative 3 L root L over 2, D negative L over 2, negative 3 root L over 2, E negative L 0, F negative L over 2, 3 root L over 2. Look at A, B, C, D, E, F. We determine the mass at A, 5, mass at B, 4, mass at C, 6, mass at D, 2, mass at E, 7, mass at F, 3. And we determine the center G, the origin point is G, represents 0, 0. Then we know that regular hexagon side length is L. After we determine the coordinate of each vertices of regular hexagon for the following table at A, at B, C, D, E, F, vertices of regular hexagon. Mass at A, 5, at B, 4, at C, 6, at D, 2, at E7, at F3. What is the X coordinate at A? L over 2. At B, L, at C, L over 2. At D, negative L over 2. At E, negative L. At F, negative L over 2. Y coordinate at A, 3 root L over 2. 0 at B, negative 3 root L over 2. 
after negative 3 root L over 2 at D, 0 at E, negative 3 root L over 2 at F by using XG to determine the center of gravity of system M1, X1 plus M2, X2 plus 2, so on, then the center of gravity zero. X coordinates by the same method to calculate YG, M1, Y1 plus M2, Y2 plus M3, Y3 to M1 to M6, Y6 over M1 plus M2 plus M3 plus M4 plus M5 plus M6, answer is zero. Then we deduce the center of gravity of the system lies as geometrical center of the regular hexagon. My dear student, by the end of the lesson, we know that center of gravity of some regular geometric shape is the center of its diagonals as regular hexagon. My dear student, by the end of the lesson, I am very happy to spend such 